Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Brianna and I'm a third year, no, I'm not. I don't even know. I'm a fifth year, third grade teacher in North Carolina and it is 2021. And I haven't filmed in a very long time, so I don't even know what I do anymore. There is a mess on my desk behind me from before break. I left some things out that I need to clean up. Luckily, today is Monday, January 4th. Yes, and it is a work day. So, we are going to do a good old-fashioned get a lot done work day. There's not a lot of people here today. It is optional, so a lot of people are still enjoying break, which I do not blame them. So, I do have some breakfast from Starbucks. I got some egg bites. I get the roasted red pepper ones, and then I got a nitro cold brew with sweet cream cold foam tried to use a gift card from a kid but it didn't work that's okay no worries it's fine i'm gonna eat some breakfast and i'm gonna get my copies organized first so my stuff for this week is gonna go in my monday through friday bins of course and then i'm gonna get back into the habit of putting the rest in my little file organizer which i've shown you guys before but i'll pull it back out obviously and show you again so let me get started all right, so the first thing I did is I took our reading, math, and social studies plans from the separate Google Docs that they're in and combined them just so we have a week to look at. So I have two weeks of plans here. Now I need to go through this mess and pull all the things that I never did or didn't get to or will use for interventions. And then all my new copies that I need to sort are in that bin. I should probably move this stuff. So here is my bin ready to go for this week. I have the plans at the front and it's sorted by day and subject. And then I have room for the weeks ahead. All of this is ready to go as well. All right, <laughs> so I've been busy editing my kids rhyme slides, which I will show you guys in a moment. I've gone through their morning works and some of their assignments that I've given them to see if um, I've remediated the skills they were struggling on. So some of them have moved past that. I've crossed them off my list. I can't really show you that because it's all their names, but basically I break it up into groups, subtraction, rounding, addition, and then I've given them like videos to watch on their rhyme slide and then either a seesaw assignment or an IXL assignment just so I can see that they've mastered the skill so then I can cross them off that group. And then if they're still struggling, I know I need to do further interventions. So I'll show you those slides later. We just had lunch, and right now I'm going to move some kids' seats around. We are starting third quarter tomorrow, and I haven't moved their seats all year, because obviously it's still gonna be the same formation with the blue tape lines, but I need to move some kids forward and some kids back and just rearrange, which is kind of frustrating because their chairs are on their desks. I don't know if that'll be easier or harder. I don't know, we'll see. But this is what the room looks like right now. All right, so I have these projects. <laughs> I know, my mind goes from one place to another. My kids did these on one of their remote days before break, and I'm just using them as their first grade in third quarter since they worked really hard on them. I just had enough grades for second quarter and didn't want to drive myself insane trying to get them done before the grades were due. So I'm grading five at a time and then doing something else. That way it doesn't become too repetitive. I did end up moving all of my kids to a new spot. What I did is when I found a new spot for a child, I put their chair down. That way I knew who was moved. And I'm gonna go around with a Clorox wipe really quickly to wipe down their desks. And then I'm going to pull back out their pencil box so they have their name tag on top and know where their new seat is. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. So I was just letting um, the other spray that we use to clean their desks dry and now I'm going to clean it some more because they need some hard scrubbing. So my mind is always a million places. <laughs> I got the desks cleaned on top and I went inside the kids' desks and pulled out their pencil boxes so that they can see their new seat. Some of them have their character bag projects on their desk. If I graded it, I'm just going to have them put it right in their book bag and take it home because 
it's just a mess maker. The plan is when they come into school tomorrow to have them clean out their desk right away because some of them come in one by one so I feel like I could help them and that would be the best way to do it because some of them are a mess and then some of them are good. So I feel like that would be a good time to not waste actual class time to do it. So I haven't passed out morning work yet but I am going to pull it out and have it ready to be passed out. I think I just don't want it to, if I ask them to clean out their desk, I don't want it to get mixed in. So I haven't thought that through yet. But if you notice this laminate I used, like the name tag came off and it unsealed itself. And that happened to several kids and it's happening over here to our positive affirmations as well. They're just falling off. Like how bizarre, it doesn't seal all the way. Um, that is not something that I want to like fix right now. Even though like it doesn't look the cutest, there's also like water or milk splatter on the mirror, lovely. We don't brush our teeth here. <laughs> like it just happened to so many and then their numbers on their book boxes as well have been falling. So I need to reprint name tags tonight. I think I'm just not going to laminate them because that really does nothing. We'll see how that goes, I guess. Luckily, I put all the library books away before break, so that is all good to go. I do need to make an anchor chart for character traits. I've been so terrible about anchor charts this year. There's nothing up there. I want to move this one to the reading board and then make a character trait one, but that is something I might end up doing at home because I don't know, but I have a lot to do at home because I also have to set up things for robotics. Holy cow. Um, I'm going to move my crock pot because I didn't eat my lunch that I brought today. It's not in there. I put it in the fridge. We went out for lunch since it was a work day or picked up lunch. So I just went ahead and did that. That way I will have lunch for the rest of the week. Oh, I changed both calendars. Something else I have to print out is job applications for my kids. I just don't want to overwhelm them tomorrow because they haven't been at school for two about two weeks. So that's going to be a lot in itself. They have their math morning work, which is four problems. They have to cut out their vocabulary and glue it down. Although I might end up saving vocabulary for reading because we're doing a character trait scoot. So maybe I'll have them work on vocabulary and then flip flop. That's what I'm gonna do. That way I can have them clean out their desk and do their job application. Okay, I'm gonna print that. Good plan. We made our lessons, um, at least for reading. We're easing back in to everything because the first day back from break is always hectic. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me print out the job application or the job options, I may just have them write it on a sticky note. That's actually easier. And then I don't even wanna print them. Maybe I'll just post them. I'll print one sheet and I'll post it. But they know the jobs too. I'll print one sheet, post it on the whiteboard, that way they can see it if they need to. And that will be part of their morning work. Okay, thank you guys for helping me think that through. All right, let me get to work because it's almost three o'clock already. All right, so I got all of the projects completely graded, at least the ones that were finished. So now I know the few kids who were not in here when we glued it together, I guess. So I'll have to get them set up when they come in tomorrow. My morning slide is set. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the rhyme slide really quick, so let me pull that up. Okay, so on my Google Classroom, I simply have a topic called Rhyme Time, and there is an assignment called Rhyme. So the students will click on it, and I had a template, and when the students open it, I had it select make a copy for each student. So after I set it up as make a copy for each student, I went into each student's copy and some of the things in all the kids are similar. Like in catch up, they always have their unfinished work folder. That's just there to remind them to check it because our rhyme time is when they do their makeup work, but then when I pull remediation groups, intervention groups, enrichment groups, when they work on just skills that they've already mastered, just get some extra practice. Their mayo is when they have finished 
everything that I have assigned to them. What stays the same on every child is the catch up will always say unfinished work folder. Sometimes it has extra stuff in there. And then Mayo always has these choices. So the Mayo is like may do. They can choose whatever they want. I think pickles is cuter. So I'm going to change that for next year, but for now I'm just going to leave it. Mustard is what they must do. However, they need to do catch up first. So with their morning work being a spiraling math worksheet, I can see what old skills they're still struggling with. So I group those kids together and I go into each individual student's rhyme slide and copy and paste what the strategy is for that week or whatever skill I have them working on. I find a YouTube video that could be like a little mini lesson for them so they can watch this to refresh their memory and maybe touch on something that I didn't teach them or just try to teach them in a different way so that maybe they'll pick up on the skill a little bit better. And then I either have a seesaw activity or a IXL skill. That way I can see if they have understood the skill or mastered the skill. So they just have to click on the link. This one is a rounding one. So I can, this is a quick and easy quick check for me to see whether they've mastered the skill or not after they watch that video. And this really helps with paper flow because then I'm not needing to use extra worksheets and things. Now, something I do use is if it does not help this child and they're still struggling, then I will pull them and then all the stuff that I have extra sheets of or that I didn't get to or that I saved for an intervention, I can use those to hopefully help them in that area. But what the kids do is in the open boxes, they click on it and make sure that box is selected itself and they right click and they change it to a check mark and that shows me that they have completed it. So I do go in on these. I went in on a weekly basis before break but I'll probably go in um, twice a week now just to update it. Then I know to check the student and it's really great. These all have closed boxes because I don't want the kids to put check marks there. <laughs> because I don't care if they read from their book box or if they read on Epic. They don't need to show me which one they did. So I don't want them to spend time trying to click on the certain mark to change it to a check mark because some of them spend so much time on that and I'm like, the check mark is not the big deal, guys. This is a student who is struggling with this skill. And then let me show you, this is what it looks like for a child who does not have any remediation to complete. So I always have them log into extra math to get their lesson complete. That way they can become faster with their facts. And then I have them do 15 minutes per math and reading for freckle practice. So all of this, they don't need to check off because this is something that they will need to do every single day if there's nothing else listed here. So I've had to constantly remind them that, but this rhyme slide is really a lifesaver because if the kids are finished with their work, not even during rhyme time, so I could like tell them to get on their rhyme slide at a different part of the day if I, when they're finished as um, like early finisher activities because they're all listed here. And I mean, as they get more familiar with it, they'll know what their options are. So they won't necessarily need to pull up their Chromebook and take a look at this. But I love this because rhyme time is the time when I'm pulling small groups. So this automatically differentiates what my students are working on. Their freckle is obviously based on their level. And then the kids who I assign things to, that is completely differentiated to them because those are skills that they're struggling with. Now, I typically just do math skills during this time because guided reading is when I'm intervening or tier two intervention groups is when I'm intervening on the reading skills they're struggling with. So I do focus on math here. However, when they do get to Mayo, they have the option to work on some reading stuff. I believe that's all I wanted to show you today. I'm just looking around the room thinking about if there's anything else I need to do right now, but my brain is mush since it was my first day back. It's four o'clock, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm pretty sure no one else is here. So I do have some things that I'm going to be working on at home tonight. I know I overwork myself, but also these are like 
simple things that I could have done while I was home for break that I didn't. Like reprinting name tags, is that a necessity? No, but it's just what I want to do, you know? I'm going to do those things, get stuff together for robotics because I have to start that up, get stuff together for conferences because I'm doing those as well, and yes. All right. I will see y'all tomorrow.